and welcome to MGP 335. I'm Kev and with me this week there's Anna and Pab. Say hello boys and girls. Yo. Hello. Now you may have noticed the eagle-eared amongst you would have noticed I didn't mention Sheepdog's name there. He would love to be with us uh, but he's got some voice problems. Those of you who follow football will be aware that Tottenham made it through to the Champions League final this week and if you follow Sheepdog on Twitter you would have heard his celebrations. I'm just going to hold my phone up to the microphone. I, I need to share with you the noises <laughs> this man was making as a result of Tottenham making it through to the Champions League final. So, where are you, phone? Here we go. No, that's his kid. And that is Sheepdog sounding like he's on a roller coaster. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why he was screaming like a nine-year-old girl rather than screaming like an screaming like an adult man, <laughs> but he was. And after too much of that, too much of a good thing, he now, he now has no voice at all. The big loser. Um, so we could have had him on just to mock him, but then I realised I can mock him even if he's not here. There's no reason to disturb him from his throat recovery booth that he's probably in at the moment. But uh, he's he's had quite a good week. Bless his cotton socks. Um, how's everyone else's week's been? Are we all good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad, really. Is, is, are you still a, a grumpy bear this week, Pab? Or I don't know. We'll, 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 see in about, we'll see in about an hour. Right now, I'm OK. <laughs> <laughs> Bear in mind, we're 300... I don't think there's another podcast in the universe that 335 episodes in. He's still faffing about trying to work out a way to record it the way we are again. <laughs> Why don't we just use Ev- Skype? Because it doesn't work. We've tried everything over the years, and we're finally doing the thing that people first told us to do about seven years ago, which is we're all recording local files that Pab's then going to mix together afterwards. The problem is we're still expecting it to go wrong some way, somehow. But let us know... Um, I was going to say down in the comments, but then I forgot we're still doing caveman audio only, aren't we? So let us know on Twitter what you think of the audio quality this week. Fingers crossed, after seven years, <laughs> we finally got it right. But um, we just, we struggle a little bit. We're, we're not aud- audio people. We need a producer. If anyone would like to audition, or forget audition, if anyone just wants to turn up and be <laughs> our producer, just head to Pab's house in the north, just... Follow the signs on the motorway to the north and you'll stumble across Pab's house and uh, he's got a desk set up ready for you to be producer and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Reasonable? I think that's reasonable. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I've got a, I've got a, something to bring up straight away. Oh, have you? What, you're not in the north? Is that what you're telling uh, No, me? no. I just remember now. Someone wanted a shout out, didn't they? <laughs> Who on earth wanted a shout out? I don't know. Out? Somebody wanted a shout out. I only found out because Sheepdog said, don't forget about the shout out. And I'd not seen the message. Simon Cross wanted a shout out. So there you go. You got one. Simon but- can have a shout out. I don't want everyone I don't want everyone else just marching along and saying, can I have a shout out too? Simon Cross has been to multiple MGPXs. He's, yes. He, he's bought one of the original Lelujo FM t-shirts, the one of the first 10K shirts from like three years ago. Simon Cross is OG. He gets... He gets a uh, he gets a shout out. No one else does, apart from like a select handful of maybe five people who would qualify. If you want to know how well we think of you as a listener, ask for a shout out. See if you get one or not. You'll find out <laughs> if you're if you're one of our favourites or not. Simon Cross, you get a shout out. Um, everyone else, let us know, and we'll 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 judge you all on a case by case basis and decide if you're worthy. I think we'll let Sheepdog make the decision because that can be his punishment for not being here this week. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. A um, couple of other pieces of housekeeping before we before we get up and running with talking about Vidya games. Um, I do keep forgetting to mention MGPX at the start of the podcast. I do need to keep remembering to mention it at the start of the podcast though, because we are now what is it? How many how many weeks? Someone who can do maths it must be like eight eight weeks from MGPX. Maybe not even that many. It's the twentieth of July in Peterborough. At the Brewery Tap, those of you who have been to MGPX in the past, it's the one in Peterborough, where it always used to be. Um, we're bringing it back there. We would love to have you along. We had an Indiegogo up and running. That is funded. The event is definitely happening. Um, it is now just old school, pay what you want, turn up for free if you want. Just come along, hang out with us. We're doing a live podcast. We're ha- just hanging out for the day. There'll be other 
other shenanigans going on throughout the day as well. Uh, me and Sheepdog might finally do our, our, our chili off competition to see who can make the, the biggest and best vat of chili if we're, re- if we're really lost for things to do on the day. So if you want to taste a good chili and sheepdog's chili that might be something that takes place on the day uh, but it's it's a splendid time will be had by all and i encourage you all to come along and attend and definitely you, uh, more more information at lelujo.fm slash mgpx um right this is normally where me and sheepdog would just talk to each other well, for can, 20 can, minutes because we haven't some, seen each other all week give you some have you got have you got have you got some sheepdog tales from the ridiculous universe yes, you live in to tell yes. us? I, last week was Free Comic Book Day. It was? And I went to Free Comic Book Day. And it was all right. It was all right. You probably went earlier in the day than I did. I went Because I didn't get to my comic book shop o'clock. until about four o'clock. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably a bit different then. Um, yeah, there was one book left that I wanted. I got the Deadly Class book. Yeah. And bought bought something as well. Yeah, but, that's what you do. Um, yeah, there was... Exactly. I spent. Anna was furious that I spent nearly thirty quid on one book. Yeah, but it, you look yeah. at it, you look at it that way. It was a lot of books squashed into one big book. Though. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. He, if anything, Anna, he's saving money. Yeah, but yeah. he's not even read it. I, uh, you- I'll have you know, I took it to hospital with me today, and I was yeah, reading. But why it in is that, Kevin? Room. What were you trying to do yesterday, Kevin? <laughs> what? I don't. Understand. Couldn't find it, could you, Kevin? No. Didn't it know where it went, did you, Kevin? I didn't know where it was. Mm. These things are easily misplaced. But um, how did you find Free Comic Book Day? It was alright. It was very it... excellent. You're not Pab! <laughs> I don't know, but I thought I'd chime in. Good, at least. You, yeah. you enjoyed it, did you? I almost got you a book, Anna, because they had a um, DC Superhero Girls one. And I'm I was tempted right, to thanks. pick that up for you. But yeah, I thought that would be your reaction, so I didn't bother. Tim, mine was good, but I went to Travelling Man, because Travelling Man is the independent <laughs> one. And there wasn't a queue round the block. There were, it was weird. Forbidden Planet, there was a queue round the block to get in there. I was like, why is this? It's like, it, I feel like it op- should have opened at like nine at the at the latest. And ten o'clock when I walked round there, it was a massive queue. And no, no queue in travelling, man. I literally I walked in the door and they went, there you go, here's your bag. I've had it, sort of That's thing. Mad. I guess everybody was at Forbidden Planet then, presumably. Poss- I don't know. Well, it opened, um, travelling man opened at 8.30. So it was open quite a while before I got there. So, um, so everyone went there first, then went probably the queue at probably Planet. because there wasn't all the all the books there last year. There was literally stacks of everything. There wasn't all the books there. I don't think they they got them all. I feel like I don't think they ran out of them. I feel like they just didn't order you know certain ones. I don't know. I got plenty of them. I got at least eight between eight and ten, but there wasn't everything. You know, mm. like that. I remember seeing on that list that you were talking about last week on the podcast. I don't remember seeing everything. I got the the main big ones, the the Justice League one, or whoever it was, and was it Justice League or something? Oh, just a Marvel one, the Spider Man one, wasn't it? Um, it's definitely a Spider Man. Avengers one, I think. I saw a Spider Man shaped gap. Yeah, there's an Avengers the one. There's an Avengers one as well. Um, so yeah, that was good. That was good. And then later on in the day, when I got home, I took took pictures of everything of all me, all me um, things from. Comic, uh, free comic book day, and then my phone just was going insane. Pab went viral, everybody. Yeah, hang on a minute, let's have a look at the actual stats now. Where we're at now, <laughs> so we are currently at. I don't know. I'm uh, trying to work out if this was because I don't know you had such an interesting haul, or because you were the only person in the world tweeting about free comic. I don't book know. Day I, I don't think so. Day, I just used the hashtag free. Nuts. I used the hashtag free comic book day, and I had 210 likes and 35 retweets. I don't. I didn't tag any any particular stores in there or any particular. Henceforth, you will be known as Pab the Viral King. I don't. I don't know. It was just that night. Was just. It was just like I was playing on Fortnite or whatever. I was playing Apex, and it was just dinging and dinging and just all the time. I was like, "What is this?" And I kept checking my phone at first, going, "Who's this?" I assumed it was one of you or Sheepdog had messaged me on the Twitter. So I just had a look, and it's a an note. Okay, oh, someone's no, liked Twitter. it. All right, Granddad, they messaged me on Twitter. I know on I didn't say Twitter. that. I didn't mean to say that. It just came out. That's the northern in me. I don't know why that <laughs> happened. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. It's just it was insane. It was an insane. Just just for a picture of everything that I got from Free Comic Book Day, and then in between all that, I went to uh, play Expo Manchester. Yeah, thanks for the invite to that. By the way, I'm still still really happy. It wasn't open with invite. It wasn't wasn't a private event. You could have come. Well. 
you didn't tell me you were coming until the night before. I didn't know I was going until the night. I would have had to have set off. I didn't know I was going till the night before. Mm. <laughs> That's the thing. I didn't know it was going. I wasn't sure I was going. Then Dean messaged me and said, "Are you coming?" I went. Yeah, go on As then. You're asking Dean. Okay. Yeah, I went, yeah, go on then. When was, Kev brought it up months ago, of course I'm going to say no. I didn't say no to that ever. I I said to you, mm. whenever I did, we we all forgot it was happening. Basically, other than that, I didn't say no to you. I said yes. I didn't say yeah. I didn't say anything to you about it. I feel like it was just like, <laughs> when's it happening? Oh, not yet. Not for a long time. We'll worry about it when it gets close to it. And it's crept up on us, and we all forgot about it. Simple as. Mm. And it, tell you what, it was. It was smaller. Considerably smaller. I said it at the time. Surprised. They moved out of the good venue. Dean wasn't even exhibiting. What out of choice or because they didn't have room? They didn't invite his uh, thing this time. His his collection collective. Um, He said he thinks it's down to the fact that it's it's down to size, sheer sheer amount of space on the floor. Um, It's probably. I reckon it's probably about a third of the size. Um, Why? I don't understand why they would make that move is event city it's well i think it's like they probably it's probably cheaper i don't know whether event city is cheaper or you know i think it's it's close to the city center it's easier to get to it's a lot you're probably going to get a lot more i don't know I would, it depends if you're local or not if you're coming from out of town event city is much easier to get to because you literally pull off the motorway into the trafford center and you're there yeah but i don't for me i don't, as, I don't me traveling from out of town it's brilliant i don't believe it as being a big thing that people come to like flock to like EGX I think this is a oh what's this thing on gaming oh I like gaming the first the first three or four years that we went every year me and Anna would say hello to Irish Andy who would fly over from Ireland every year to attend the event people do travel to get there and it's um, I don't know I just feel like the the Premier Inns are always chock-a-block yeah they are but like I say I feel like there's, there's just there's more going on in the centre of Manchester, sort of thing. You know what I mean? It's not, you know, you, the, the event city ends, and then you've got the Trafford Centre, and even that shots at ten. And then, then what have you got? I mean, it's, a, it's a, you're in the city centre, sort of thing, and it's more of a. I'm assuming that's what it is. It could be a, just a cheaper venue because it's like it's like the size. It's got to be that it's a cheaper venue. You'd that's think the only so. Justification you think so. for doing it because they had a perfect venue, a good event that people really enjoyed going to. That must have been relatively successful because it ran for six or seven years in a row. Yeah. If, it, yeah. if an event isn't, and it was getting bigger and better every year, so if an event isn't doing well, it doesn't last that number of years. So. It just seemed like they they took a risk on going to London last year. That didn't work out at all. Mm-hmm. And now they've had to scale everything back as a result, which is a shame. Was it any good, though? Even though it, was it was all right. Was, yeah. there, was, was there any games to play there, or was it just the car boot side of things? There, there was the car boot side of things, like I say, about a third of the size of what it would normally be. Um, there was there was like a, a row of PlayStations playing PlayStation Four games, you know, like um, nothing partic- nothing particular new. There was nothing like uh, you know new games like playing there, like we've had in the past where there's like new upcoming games that are nearly out. There was a lot of like there's, there's all like the retro console section, you know, which that's pretty much took took like a large chunk of the chunk of the hall out. You know, playing mm. your your Xboxes and your Playstations and your was old it bigger PCs. than the Blackpool version? Yes. Considerably, okay. um, but um, yeah, they had they had a whole section for kids playing Fortnite again, and there was a huge queue for that. And I'm like, you're playing Fortnite. I don't understand it's that. Bas- one. It's the same it was as the Minecraft limit. one. From I was like, years ago. I could get my phone out and play Fortnite on my phone instead of queue in the queue to play Fortnite on the PlayStation Four. Yeah, it is. It, mad. It's not like it's not like as if, it's not like as if you're playing. You go- like uh, the, the crazy thing is, they're paying to get into the event. Oh, don't so get me started. Sit there and play a free to play game. This is the thing you see. I can complain a bit now because normally we get press passes. I looked for press passes. They don't. They stopped taking applications fourteen days before the event. I was gutted <laughs> <laughs> because t- the admission to for one day is twenty quid. That's quite expensive. It was That's steep. More than Birmingham Comic. That is steep. I said. I said. I said when I was got in. I said I feel like it, about twelve quid. You'd probably be, is acceptable. That twenty quid was steep, and how was, long were you in there for? For twenty quid, about an hour, hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And we didn't do anything. We just had a look around the stalls, had a walk around with Dean, had a chat with him for about half an hour. Um, and then he had he had a uh, he was going to a panel thing or whatever it was. 
so he had to shoot off so I went right okay and then I said right are we ready to go went, yep okay let's go then so we went off we went and that was about it but it was alright I said they had all the pinball the arcade machines and like all the retro consoles and stuff and if I said I said if 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 I was a kid I would have you know what I mean I'd have come in here when I was when I was younger and just come in and just spent the day in here just, just running around all the consoles mm. but the fact that the matter is I, I don't if I want to play one of these games I'll go and play it I don't need to play any of these games and anymore. Even if you didn't have the facility to do it at home, I think we. I mean, we've been to. Must be thirty of these kind of events now over the last eight years. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. When you count all the different things we've been to that have this same kind of stuff in every time, and I, I think that's why you've to appeal to the likes of us, which I, I appreciate. We're probably not the target demographic for it. They're aiming at the, the the retro people who all go there just to hang out and it yeah, doesn't matter yeah, whether yeah, they yeah. get to play or anything. They're there to hang out or people who are walking in off the street to have a look, which is a justification for having it in the middle of Manchester. But I think yeah. mainstream gaming, modern gaming people, it, I don't think it is a thing that's targeted at us. And, maybe not, uh, maybe not, maybe not. Yeah. But they did, uh, they got some money out of me because I bought a... Uh, Game Boy Advance SP. Because <laughs> I've wanted one for ages and I've held back and I got talked into it and Dean got, Dean got us a good de- deal because me and my buddy went there. And why we, have you wanted one? I don't, tell me why you want one. Because I wanted a Game Boy Advance for it. I've got a bag full of old Game Boy Advance games and I've got like, I was like, oh, am I going to play it? I, you know, sometimes you just want nostalgia of playing these old Game Boy Advance games. I haven't got a Game Boy. I've got an old Game Boy Advance but it's knackered. Um... And I wanted an SP, and I've always liked the SP. You know, it was the clamshell one, mm, and it's really cool, it. really cool. I loved it, and um, like we saw some there, and they're in good condition. And then my mate was like, "No, I might get one." I was like, "Oh no, it's, it's tempting." And I was like, "So Dean said, how much will you do for him for two of them?" So he, he knocked the tenner off for for getting two of them. So we got a bit of a deal. Dean did a did a, a good in there and got us a deal. And uh, now I've got a Game Boy Advance SP. <laughs> wow. Have you played on it yet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got games to talk about in a little while. Well, splendid. Aren't you, Mr. Fancy, with your modern tech? Modern, yeah. Modern tech. <laughs> oh, splendid. Um, Anna, have you got any exciting uh, w- stories from your week to tell us about? No. No one fell into any bins near you? Oh, Kevin anything? fell into no. a bin. That was quite funny. Kevin then <laughs> went to the outpatients because it hurt a little bit. Hurt um, a bit. And Kevin likes to dress up like a 15-year-old and that's how he hurt himself. What do you mean dress up? I, I don't understand that part. Slide, sliders off of teenagers, Kevin, not 30s. They're just flip-flops. Mm. Just sexy, sexy flip flops. Yeah. But yeah, I've hurt my shoulder, which is why I've not played any games. That's going to be my excuse. Can't play games one-handed. He says. I think, yeah, I think, I think you I'm can. Playing, I'm playing Football Manager one-handed right now. Well. Okay. I'm trying to think of any other games that you could play one-handed. Civilization. Yeah. There Diablo. You go. Not on your sort Switch of. though. No. <laughs> I, that's why I haven't touched it this week. Yeah, yeah. He's it, it genuinely does hurt to <laughs> hold it at that angle to be able to play on it. Um, I have played a little bit more Ultimate Team. Um, because FIFA. you don't have to move much to play that. Yeah, FIFA. Loving a bit of FIFA at the moment. Uh, but, yeah, I've not um, I've not really done anything other than that. So the, the gaming side of things is all on you two, I'm afraid. Okay, okay. I'm sure we can do that. Anna. Do it. Do it now. Um, what have I played? So, I was a bit bored um, at the start of the week, well, from like Saturday. And I put in Nino Kuni 2, started it again, and then re- then I went back to my save and realised I don't really like it. It's, it's nothing like the first one. Really? Yeah, I just. I, the first one I loved so much. Like, it was. It was just. It was just everything I wanted. This one just seems to be done for just children. It seems very childish, very... 
there's no thinking in it. There's no. Whereas, like the last one, you had like the little pet things. This time, you've got these little tiny things that don't really do much. Like, yeah, yeah. I just, I just prefer the other one. Got me like with its story and stuff. And this is just like, a ma- basically, you start in this world, and your world <clears throat> gets. This is like the very start. Your world, so you're an adult man, you're a president, you're on the way to a city, it gets nuked, you wake up in Ding Dong Land or something, and then it's about this rat taking over the kingdom and and the mice rise, and it's just, I don't really like it. Um, Pretty and all that, but uh, I'm past that. And then, what else to do? Then I finished Metro, uh, Exodus. Oh, did you? Okay. Like, because okay. I, I played it when it came out, and then got uh, Uniworks doing it and didn't play it. Went back to, I think, I was like, right, let I'll play it for an hour, just see where I get to, because I couldn't have been that far from the end, and within an hour and a half, I'd finished the game, and that was sad. Like, I want to know, I want to see if there's other endings, because I didn't like the ending I got. I wasn't happy with it, that it just, just didn't end the way I thought it would have ended. But I'm waiting for DLC now. I desperately want some DLC for this, because I bought the season pass, had all that issues with it, because it wouldn't work. And Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah and now, game, like, Nothing. It's been out a few months. Like yeah. you should really release the DLC. If not, I want a refund because that's not great. Um, what else have I played? What else have I played? Um, then I've been playing some Yakuza. Okay, which which, which one? Zero. Yakuza? So Zero. yeah. Okay. So yeah. I Set in the eighties. Yeah. So I bought this on this ages ago, didn't really understand it and got rid of it. Then I bought it last summer because it was like a tenner. I played a little mm-hmm. bit of it but then yeah. didn't really get on with it. Then I put it in last weekend and thinking this game's mental. And I can go karaoke, karaoke singing. I'm now racing pocket cars and yeah, okay. and I can go play baseball in one of them Things like where you just hit a ball. No, oh, like the batting, batting cages. cages. Yes, get, I can go and eat ramen. This game's mental, yep. and then like the fighting yep. is like brutal as anything. But it's a mental game because like I have this, I have zero, and I have another one. Yeah, uh, Kwa- I can't remember. One Kawami. Kwa- Kwa- yeah, I have one. that one because yeah, that Kwa- came. Kawami is the first one. Yeah, that came out on PlayStation yeah. Plus. Plus, so yeah. I have that. Yeah, I ju- yeah. They're just mental games. They're like literally the mentalist games I've ever played. I don't understand <laughs> what these games are or what it's yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. But okay, I, I will happily go and play a riffing game for karaoke. Um, it's funny. I'm not. I'm not going to say anything other than this. Have you come up to the bit with the chicken yet? Like li- no, I literally played like okay. That's I did right. the first That's part of the know, story I, I... and then. <laughs> I'm just walking around. I don't, I don't know the context for the, the the chicken in the game. I just know of the story of the chicken. I don't know when it comes up, so you <laughs> might it might come up at any point in the game. But I'm not saying anything else other than that. Uh, it's brilliant. Uh, well, I'll look out for the chicken. I've also played Days Gone. Yes, I still have it. Um, really? Yeah, like I like it. I like to go in it and just do. Like, 20 minutes, half an hour, just scavenging or taking out a camp. But then today, it made me go and do a mission where there is a horde. And I went past it, and I looked, I went, nope. And I drove off, and I turned it off. So, who knows if I go to that. There, it's so, there, it was just this massive swarm of yuck. And I was just like, no, 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 no. See, I, I can't decide with that game. I, I I go through phases of like going, it looks all right, and then I see videos on Twitter of like some guy sneaking <laughs> yes, around. Yes, I've seen you it. You've seen the video of him 
Someone's sneaking around, and then there's and the zombies just spawn, spawn and eat and him. Just, there's like yeah. a horde of them just on him, and he's just like, he's just, he's just like what do you do for that? You God, can't. He tries no. to get back to his bike, but he gets mauled to death. It's insane. So yeah, he it definitely needs patching. Like there hasn't been a patch out for at least a week now. It does need patching. There is issues with it. Uh, the texture popping is not as bad now. Like I'm yeah. not really seeing yeah. any of that, but the the spawning of hordes that's not fun I've been, I went past one early in the game but I was like nope but this one where they're I don't know whether they move away because I saw them and I had that was the area I had to be in and I just went no no thank you <laughs> but like it's right next to the Nero I think it's called area and one of the alarms is still going and I can't get, I can't go and cut the alarm because they're everywhere. And as soon as I get off my bike, right. they will just swarm me and eat me. So I don't know, maybe I'll go back to it next week and they'll be gone. But no, that 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 just freaks me out. That's why I don't, I don't like things when it's like that. Like I was playing Resident Evil, and I can't, I couldn't play it after um, spoiler when M- Mr. X turned up. I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't cope with that pressure. Hearing yeah. it, it, it freaks me out no end. So I've would it would it make it easier if he was Thomas the Tank Engine? No, that would freak me out even more. No. Just the <laughs> just the fact that that you're trying to do something. So like that, I got to I got the thing that I needed for the library, and I did it. But by the time I had I moved the bookcase, he was there, and and then he grabbed me, and I was just like, I can't, I can't live with this pressure. <laughs> I really can't. So I watched someone play it instead because I, I just can't. I just can't anymore. Like, when, when I was younger, loved it. Couldn't put it down. Loved every bit of it. But now, no, it it, it it makes me feel sick. I can't I can't cope with that anymore. I like games that are either fun or a bit weird. I, I can't stand... Like, in, in Days Gone, there's a stealth mechanic and I prefer be stealthy and just get in and out and do what I need to do, then take on like a hundred of these things that just run at you because <sighs> they're, they're f- like they're freaky looking and it, it, they, yeah, and they're, yeah. they're right in your face and <laughs> and like no and like if you use a gun that makes more of them come and then they come from the back and it's just like no no I'm going goodbye and I, I just I just can't so like I'm on the easiest mode I can get on because I I I just, I don't have the time to give, give a game that on hard. I just, I just want, to, I just want to get through it. So hopefully, when Rage comes, Rage Two, which I hope comes tomorrow, but if not, it will come Monday. That that game's mental as well, but it's like funny mental. I just hope that it's made by the people that made Just Cause. Just Cause Four was awful. Like, because it came out on one of the, I think it was Xbox Gold thing, and I played it, yes. and it was awful. It was horrible. Just the whole aesthetic and the look. It, no, it was like going back to PlayStation Two. I was like, no. But this Bethesda is publishing it, I think, and it's our um, I can't. Remember. Is it ID? ID? It's someone else and somebody else. And they've all mashed it together and, and made a game. Right. But I liked the first one. As someone mentioned yesterday, it was the first one was in the brown era of games, which every game looked like brown. I thought it was hilarious. Kevin chuckled at it as well because it, it, like he showed us like all these games that came out at the time and they were all like different colours of brown. I was like, yeah, I can see it. But this one is like neon and bit mental and just just crazy and I'm all up for that so yeah I'm playing it but I'm gonna keep playing Yakuza because it's just weird yeah you want some neon there you go <laughs> yeah and yeah I like I like this Yakuza like I said it's set in the 80s there's yeah, just yeah. like it's all in Japanese like all of it yes. which is yeah can be annoying because you have to read a lot but when you're racing small cars like is it skill electrics 
I used to love that one as a kid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's what I'm yeah. doing that now. I've got a machine called a Gollum Tiger, and it is pink and red. And it's, it, yeah, it, it's speed at 81. So we'll see if it wins anything. Because, like, when I, when I put this game in, there was a bunch of DLC that was free. And then when you install that, you have to go and find this funny, funny laughing man. Like, that's how weird it is. I just going to find him, and then he gave me loads of stuff, and it's like, don't use all this at once. You'll only get this once. So I'm like, all right, weird though. But yeah, he gave me a bunch of stuff, so I have a bunch of stuff. I have like a lightsaber as a weapon. Like, really? yeah, a lightsaber, okay. and then I've also got a shark. Uh, I've also got a fan, like a, a fan that a woman uses with her hand. And I have, a, I have yeah. an electric yeah, yeah. taser to tase people. Like... It's mental. So if if you can if you can get your hands on one, like get it. Like I know one came out recently, and one of the one of the um, activities is feeding a bunch of cats and carrying a baby and just weird stuff. Like these games, if you want something weird, I'd go to Yakuza because you just like what now? What <laughs> what's happening? But yeah. It's all fun, but that, that's, that's about it. I'm trying to look, but I can't, yeah, I think that's it. Yes, that is it. That's, that's all I've done. Lazy, lazy, Anna. I have, lazy, I've got carpal tunnel, I think, in my wrist. You have not. It hurts, though. And I've got loads of revisions, too. Mm -hmm. And I've only got this hand because I've been writing, but, like, my mum had this, so I think I do, because it, really hurts in the middle and it hurts my fingers my wrist my shoulder and my back it's all connected and it really hurts but yeah i'm gonna race my car okay <laughs> club tell us all about video games uh right what can i talk about um, video games yes please. i know i'm just looking through my list um i have so with the aforementioned Game Boy Advance I was like okay what games have I got I'd look through Zelda okay Legend of Zelda um yeah I got uh, I, I, op- I just found um, Link to the Past and I went okay yeah I remember this one and t- turned it off immediately the only game you need for a Game Boy Advance is Advance Wars if you haven't been spending I've not got Advance Wars, Wars but I know I know of Advance Wars, um, but I've, I've, I've put, I found another Zelda game, Legend of Zelda and the Minish Cap. Now, this was a really oh, cool game. This was a, I, and I've, I've actually started this one again because I was like, you know what, I've not, I've not finished it. I've not got anywhere near the end of that. I don't think because I, I loaded my first file up and I ain't got a clue what's going on. Um, and obviously, like a Zelda game, they don't really tell you what's going on. Like if you just dropped it back in, it it was not going to recap you. It's not going to tell you where which direction to go, and you do what you want. Um, so I started it up again, and it's it's a very cool, cool Zelda game. Um, the premise of this one is you have a you, I think like, I think the princess gets turned into stone, and to 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 break the curse, you have to go and find the the Minish, like tribe or whatever it is and they are tiny the little tiny minuscule people and then you you get the minish cap as it were which is like a little it's like a it's like a hat that talks to you and you can shrink down into these tiny things and you go into like little tiny forests and tiny worlds so then you, it's like it's like a big game and then a tiny game as well it's 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 a really it's a cool premise uh, I don't know I can't remember whether people loved it or hated it when it came out but I, I imagine I'm, people loved it and I hated it. That's yeah, maybe that's how it works. Yeah, there. yeah. I I played probably about two hours, maybe. And again, I was like, I can feel myself. I can see myself getting kind of sucked back into this because it's the, the kind of cool. I, I I like a Zelda game every now and again. It's not my everyday thing that I that I go for, but every now and again, I could go for one. I could definitely have, have a Zelda every now and again, and it's. Like I say, it's a cool premise and it's something to play on the little Game Boy Advance. I've got all sorts of games though. I've got all sorts of games. I've got 
both Dragon Ball Z games, which I'm chuffed about because they, they ain't cheap now. Um, I've got Doom. I've got V Rally on the Game Boy Advance. They brought Doom out. Yeah, I yeah. Was not aware of this. That's yeah, awesome. I've got Doom. I've got uh, V Rally, which was good. I've got Stuntman on there. I've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Two. I think it is, and that that's a really good game. I tell you what, I found though. I was like, I cannot believe I've got this. I've got David O'Leary, Football Manager. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's it's bonkers. Never heard of it, but it sounds awesome. It's bonkers. It's it's not even a it's not even like a a proper it's a Game Boy Color game. That's how old it is. I must have, I must have kept it liked it that much. I kept it. David O'Leary was a football manager for about three weeks. How David, did he get a game? David O'Leary manager two thousand. And I I must have I feel like I remember loving it that much. And I must have done because I've kept it. I've kept it. <laughs> and I'm tempted to put it in, but I, I don't know if it'll fit in the actual the SP slot. I think it will. Um, but yeah, it's just it's bonkers. Like just finding this little EB games like bum bag full of cartridges. And it's just like just going through like nostalgia of all these old games. It's just it's really cool. And we'll see. I might get some more. I get some other things as well. We'll see. You may, you're tempting me to go and get an original Game Boy again because I've still got my um, original Pokemon Blue cartridge that just sits really? on a shelf. Wow, um, that's cool. Because when I when we were clearing out the garage like two years ago, it was in, just in the bottom of a box that had been in the garage for twenty years since I moved out of my parents' house, and it just kind of sat in the corner of the garage and it had fallen in there. It's just a loose cartridge, not in a box, no sign of the Game Boy. But I am tempted to find a Game Boy just to put it in yeah, and yeah, yeah, see yeah. how I see see where I got to, see if I caught them all. I didn't. No. See how many of them I caught, <laughs> see how far into it I got. And uh, I am tempted, but whenever I look, I always have a little look when I go to car boot sale events like Play Expo. Yeah. And um, they were, if they were like 15 quid, I'd get one. But I'm not spending 40 quid on a Game Boy. It no. It troubles no. me. No. I see what you mean. I mean, this is the thing as well. It's, it's, it's impossible to see them. That's why they're, they're all like modded to be backlit now in these expos or what have you. So that's where the that's where the money comes in. There's like there was like, uh, some, I think one of my friends asked, "How much is this one? Is it 130 quid?" What? 130 quid for a for a Game Boy? That's is more that, than they were when they were first like released. Modded, it's got like the modded like thing, the backlight on it, and all this sort of thing, and better batteries on it, and all this sort of thing. But yeah, yeah, it's um, it's it's been kind of fun. Um, amongst that other thing, full of things that I've been playing, I've played a bit more Strange Brigade. Yeah. Played another level of that. It's insane. The, the levels seem like to take yeah. forever. It's like an, a level, it's like an yeah. hour. Like, I just like just have a quick quick go an hour <laughs> later on. It's like, yeah, but like, you can say no, definitely not doing another through the levels. Oh, can you? Can you? Yeah. Yeah, we did. I did did some more of that. It's it's fun. It's it's a good fun game. Mm. The controllers are working right this this yeah. time. The controller was actually. I think it, I think I actually went into Steam, the Steam controller thing and mapped a button so it made sure it worked. Oh, okay. I've never done that before. I actually went into the Steam thing because it didn't work at first, and then I actually was, it just I just like opened the, the Steam like, the controller layer and it opened the Steam overlay. I went using the controller. What do you want to do? And it just just simply is like, okay, what do you want up to do? And you want up to be whatever it is. And then yep, yeah, there you go. That's it done. And it just mapped it to it, and I can then heal myself again finally. Okay. Can't play on hardcore anymore. Where I got stuck playing hardcore last time, where I couldn't heal myself because the button didn't work. Um, but yeah, it's a cool, cool, cool Left 4 Dead style game. Difficult. It's not easy. I feel like we were playing two of us, and I feel like we we got into like a boss room, like you do in these games, and there's just like hordes of these like skeletons and mummies and these like nasty like zombie looking things that like spit fire at you mm. and then you had a big big bull fella who'd charge you down and knock you down and you can't you can't there's like I didn't, I didn't realize at first there's like some of the some of the skeletons and what have you and the monsters have they carry potions for you yeah <laughs> that's good i was like thank god i kill i just you just kill them and then just like go just grab it and just go just go because you need it desperately need that yeah. potion and um, the amount of times I'm like getting dragging, dragging my buddy out, out of the um, out of the coffin. Oh God, yeah. That's what you do when you get downed. The um, 
you go in a coffin, as long as you've got a red. You go thing. in a coffin, don't you? You get you get respawned. Yeah. yeah. So I've got I have to kite all the enemies round, and then run back, and then just bang on the coffin, and he comes running out, and then I get downed. So we have to do the same thing. It's just like just basically daisy chaining that, just trying until we could chip away at all the enemies. It took a long time, mm-hmm. but it's a cool game. It's a cool game to just have a go on here and there. Um, other than that, it's my usuals. Apex. Yeah. Apex is. I'm getting. I feel like I'm getting better at it. I had a, I had a win the other day with six kills, six kills and a win. Okay. And and I think it was the game. It was. It was the game where my all my team got downed and I finished, I killed the whole team on my Yay. own. And I was like, wow. Aren't you Mr. Fancy I know, Pants? I know. It was that, and that was, that was one of three wins that night. Three wins in a night at Apex is unheard of. It's pretty standard for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. I believe it when I see it. Anyway. You don't, you don't need to see it. Just trust that it's okay. happening. Okay. I just assume that, yeah, just know that it's happening somewhere. Yeah. Um, the other one is Fortnite. Season nine is out now. Came out yesterday or Thursday, as it was, and um, it's all right. I feel like we've I've got to a stage with Fortnite now where the meta has become too much for me. Really? Yeah. the The meta is just it's just ruining the game for me. Yeah. Have you started yeah, season just, nine? It's... I yeah. I have a question. Okay, go on. What on earth does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. I was waiting for you. So the meta is usually like what the current like how the game is played sort of thing at the minute. Like shoot the baddies in the face. Well, that's the thing. People, people, what people do now, they kind of like they box up, they box up, so they build all the little builds, and then they just sit in there, and then you try and shoot the build out, and they just keep building, just blocking it off, and build, rebuild, and rebuild, and rebuild. And they just happen to just sit in the box until the circle moves, and then they, then they make a run for it, and then they might shoot someone after running past, running round. But it's just like it's 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 the way the pro games played. The pro game is insane. I don't know if you've seen any of the pro pro stuff, but it's like end end game where there's like the tiniest circle where you should probably have maybe like probably no more than eight players, and there's like thirty players in it, and they're all just like box, they're all stacked on top of each other in boxes. And then they wait for a mistake from someone, and they pounce on them, and they edit a build out, shoot them, edit, re-edit it, re-edit it, so it's like a solid box again. And then they sit there again until they have to move, and then they, they move across this sky, just building across. And well, that just sounds boring as hell. It's insane. It's 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 fascinating to watch, right? But it's leaked into the actual main game now, and everyone's doing it, like the pros now, and it's just. It's kind of ruined it. It used to be the game where you used to build a ramp and you'd just kind of peek over and you'd shoot and until someone actually shoots you. Or, you know, and unless I'm just, this is just how I like to play it and I don't know. It's just kind of ruined it a little bit for me. I still still play it. I still bought the new seat, do Battle Pass and I'll still do the, do the challenges and what have you. But I'm, we're not playing it anywhere near as much as as we used to and it's it's a shame because I really like that game and I liked all the, the Marvel events and the, the like the, all the new the new season nine. There's there's the um, new Tilted Towers, which is all like futuristic, and there's a new retail role which is called Mega Mall. And there's a shopping mall over it all, and they're doing all sorts of stuff, different stuff with like these like um, these like um, tubes that you like like fan tubes that you just kind of zip round. You can zip round the entire map now on these little these little. You know, like them tubes in Future Armor, would have you. You can just get in and you just kind of zip off somewhere. They're similar to that, but you can get shot in them. Um, so yeah, so there's there's all sorts of new futuristic stuff coming. There's new shotguns coming, which people don't like, people hate, because they took the old shotguns out. And I don't know. It's more and more difficult to get wins now because I'm not good at the game, and and the person I play with is more than capable of winning. But the meta is just box up and just just sit there and just uh, catch people out meta. it's it's pesky, awful pesky it's awful meta. the matter at the minute but yeah, hopefully hopefully the new season will change change the matter up for the good but yeah, other than that it probably will oh yeah but that meta it's that, the meta is always move all over the place you don't want the meta to be like this you don't like to see it like oh, this oh no 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 it's the last thing I want to see no and like I say 
hopefully they'll shake things up in season nine and <clears throat> see where they go take from the there. Building out, take the building out, take the guns out. Well, there's there's one of the things of like there's no go- there's there's no like the f- you collect a f- you collect a, f- a thousand of each material, which means you can just m- like build and build and build for days. If you cut the materials in half, you're restricting how much they can build, and it means they've got to go and fight people to go and get the to go and get materials off them, or go and farm again. But you leave and you leave yourself to be exposed by farming again. So. It's 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 just this tough matter. You need to cut them, cut the materials in half, and I don't know, make it more aggressive again. Because they they used to have, I think last season they had they had like health for kills. So you would you would get a kill, and you would get health back from doing that, or a sh- or shield back from doing it. And they took it out because they made it. They said it was more. It become they, they made, it made the game too aggressive. It made the fact that people were just charging at people, and. For better or worse, I think I probably prefer it because it made it where the people aren't just happy to sit in a box and wait for wait for people to make mistakes. Mm. So, yeah, there you go. That's my uh, that's my bit on my little rant on Fortnite. <laughs> I still love it. I still love it, but I'm slowly hating it at the same time. <laughs> Other than that, I think that is about it. That is about it for what I've got down on well, the but that leaves us with a bit of a short one this week, I guess. Then blame Sheepdog. Yeah, for, Sheepdog uh, would have had umpteen stories to to talk about with little voice, would wouldn't he? He would have had all sorts exactly. of stuff to talk about. Exactly. I'd like to think that he's always going to talk in that high squeaky voice from now on. I hope so. If you want to see the clip in full of Sheepdog screaming like a girl, it's on his Twitter. You should go and check it out because it is just... And abuse him for it. Feel free to just call him names because, frankly, he deserves <laughs> it because... Who screams like that? There's no excuses. I've been to big football <laughs> matches where there's been huge excitement. And I can tell you, when you score your third goal in seven minutes in a playoff final to secure a place in the championship, and everyone around you is going nuts, and you feel like you're going to have a heart attack, not one person in the ground is screaming the way Sheepdog was screaming in that video. So I don't know what that was. I don't know how it happened. Uh, but it was uh, it, it's worth listening to repeatedly if you ha- if you haven't already done so. So uh, that's Sheepdog's Twitter at RB6K, or you can find the podcast Twitter, which will probably have retweeted it at MGUK Podcast. Or there's my Twitter. I'm not retweeting it. I'm not giving him the exposure. I'm at Lelujo. I'm at Miss Lelujo. And I'm at Pub1986. Excellent. Well, we will. Uh, We'll leave you there then, boys and girls. Less than 50 minutes. This is what happens when Sheepdog's not here. We just have nothing to say to you each other. Cut out the ramble and just get exactly. straight down to business. Exactly. We've cut out the, 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 the bit that we all listened for and just talked about games. The girl is screaming. Exactly. See you next week, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening, folks. <laughs>